the darkest performances slash concerts of 2023. And let me tell you, there is a lot of them. So here's the deal. As these were happening throughout the year, I would make these one to two minute videos and post them on my Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. So what I'm going to do is post all of them on here in no particular order, because honestly, it would take like 10 plus hours to get all this footage again, just to make it on this video. And I want you guys to pick your top three. What do you think's the darkest one out of all of these? And let me know. Also, these were happening throughout the year, like I said. So my narrator voice changes a lot and sometimes it's a little cringy. So don't make fun of me for that. So let me know what you guys think. The Darkest Performances Slash Concerts in 2023 Part 1 At the Grammy Awards earlier on in the year, Sam Smythe quite literally shocked the world with one of the most demonic performances we have ever seen on live television. Forming his song Unholy, it looks like he tried to give us a depiction of what hell looks like. With him in devil horns, the whole set on fire, women in cages. I mean, it just doesn't get any more demonic than that. Next, we have Lil Uzi Vert at Rolling Loud, where he even wore a satanic belt with pentagrams on it. He was playing these gory murder scenes in the background of whatever the heck that movie was. And to top that all off, he debuted his song where he said he made a city girl believe in Satan. Whenever the weekend went on tour this year, there was always a common theme. His dancers would be dressed in these hooded gowns, dancing around this demonic looking robot thing. And whenever that figure wasn't there, they would be dressed up in red, doing it under the moon. People who attended these concerts just said that there was a very dark vibe. I mean, not to mention, he literally flashed the word Satan at one of his concerts. I've never seen so much dark symbolism during a Super Bowl in my entire life. Rihanna throws on a bright red dress and just throws up the Illuminati sign in front of everyone. I mean, the platform she was on was literally shaped as a triangle as well. They all wear and do the same thing. Sam Smith in The Weeknd with some of the most satanic performances ever. Lizzo with a literal six on her head. Daja Cat and all these other artists. Do you guys get it yet? And what the heck was this? There is absolutely no way she just sniffed her finger after this. I break down the whole thing on YouTube, but let's get into some other Many fans are terrified after seeing all the props, symbolism, visuals, and especially skits at Dodger Cat's current concert tour. I'll show you that raw footage of the skit at the end of the video, but she opens up her concert with this haunted house visual, which is very similar to her music video for her song, Demons. <laughs> The haunted house scene cuts out and then she comes out in this red dress with spooky music playing. When she plays her song Demons, she brings out this demonic looking spider that hovers over her and the crowd. Now if you look closely, you can see someone is inside of that spider. You can see his hands in front of the head moving the spider around, which is just extra creepy to me. Now this is the skit I was talking about. Just listen to what they're saying. their performances never fail to surprise me. This is Miguel and he has hooks carrying him from his back and he has no shirt on. You can literally see the skin being pulled from his back. I mean, I need explanation on how this is even possible or what kind of pain this guy is in or if there's something attached to his body that's helping him. This is honestly just mind blowing to me. Dark, demonic, soul harvesting energy I got from this video is wild. Last time I made one of these videos, it raised a lot of controversy in the comments, but you need to think to yourself, out of all the images in the world, why are they picking this one? I understand some of you think this is cool, but this is done on purpose. Check the clip out. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.
thing I have ever seen. So at Lana Del Roy's concert, a wave of energy or whatever the heck happened jolted everyone in the crowd back. Just watch the raw footage. <laughs> Festival in Europe just took place and you won't believe the demonic and Illuminati energy that was going on. First of all, look at the backdrop of this set from the rapper Yat. I already made a video on this artist, but he's one of the top trending artists whose career took off from TikTok, as everyone just dances to the demons. And I have no idea who this is, but he has inverted crosses on his shorts. Metro Boomin is there, one of the biggest music producers out there with flashing Illuminati signs and all different kinds of designs. Watch the intro to this Milani Martinez concert. This might be one of the creepiest things I have ever seen, especially what she says at the end. God. Before I dive into what is going on in front of your eyes right now, it was actually really hard to find out what Burning Man actually is. It's not a festival where there's scheduled headliners and DJs, it's better explained as an experimental city. You can't buy or sell, there's no cell phone service, and you can't drive. Wikipedia describes it as a week-long, large-scale desert campout focused on community, art, self-expression, and self-reliance. There's about 70,000 people that gather here, and it's on a dry lake bed in Black Rock City, Nevada. The Saturday before Labor Day, they burned the man, which is a large wooden effigy. I don't know the specifics behind this ritual, but supposedly you're supposed to pour your bad energies and burdens before they light this on fire. And on the eighth day, they burned the temple, which I believe is the same idea. People leave behind memories, objects, burdens, all to be burned in this ritual. But this year's Burning Man took a turn for the worse when a massive storm came through. It formed this insanely thick and sticky mud that trapped anything that tried to move in something it. you have to realize is there's only one way in and one way out to and from burning man so 70,000 people were stuck stranded most people only packed food and supplies for the week so things started getting scarce porta parties started overflowing and soon started to seep into the mud that this is the most demonic concert they have ever attended. Before I show you actual footage of Rima's concert, this is the trailer that he dropped before the concert started. He jumps into a portal of fire and then onto a horse. The trailer fades, then the intro of the concert begins and a black cage is lifted off of him. Members in the audience were so shocked that they started to record saying, I was genuinely scared for my life. This woman said that it felt like he was doing a ritual and I don't blame her. The way the dancers were dancing, he was screaming and speaking words that no one could understand. I'll play you the noises he was making at the end, but he then starts to get on this demonic looking bat. The visuals then started to show demonic looking figures and skeletons and bodies burning. You have to realize this concert is very dark and the only color it's flashing is red. With all of this dark symbolism, everyone said that they felt extremely drained. <laughs>
Jackson concert is seen being crucified on a pole. 50 Cent also posted this on his Instagram. I know they have some beef, so he's basically just roasting him. But for some context, he's rapping the song One of Us. If you pay attention to what everyone is wearing around him and the sunset behind him, it seems like he's trying to act like he's Jesus. Lil Uzi Vertical's long-awaited concert tour has officially begun and some fans are saying they felt like they were a part of some type of ritual. Now before I show you the rest of the clip, you heard that girl say that Uzi has a game to play how many times can you say his name and she says it six times. Now if you keep repeating his name Lil Uzi Vert, it starts to sound like the name Lucifer and it's no coincidence she said it six times, the devil's number. Now watch the rest of this clip and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on the rest of his concert tour. his secrets or selling his soul in his concert. It starts with him sitting on a bed as a young teenager growing up on his favorite shows like Family Matters and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. We then see the transition into stardom where we see his role in Degrassi. After that, he goes to bed, still a young teenager, the lights turn off and there's a spotlight. Jumping and flying and dancing around the spotlight is this shadow demon looking figure. It starts to fly around him and multiple different spirits are spawned creating a circle which eventually creates a portal. And out of the portal the spirits made comes out Drake. Using Travis Scott for flashbanging them during his most recent concert. I don't even know what's normal at concerts anymore, so you guys tell me, was this an exaggeration or not? mind control at her most recent concert? First of all, everyone was staring into the spiral circle for over a minute, and then words started flashing like whoever controls the media controls the mind. Shortly after, it flashes mind control with Beyonce in the middle of the circle. And if you watch my video on sound frequencies, you know that the brain can tell your body how to feel with different frequencies. It makes me think, how are people feeling during this concert? And randomly in the middle of the visual, we see someone in a weird position. I'm not sure what that's all about. The next thing that pops up in the circle is that little captcha that says i'm not a robot and then right behind that is a flag made out of pills everyone knows the red and blue pill but my question to all of you is what's the point of all of this these concerts nowadays are just getting wild the dark hidden messages at the first sphere concert were kind of scary you'll see what i'm talking about in a second but i'm just wondering was you two the ones that picked these visuals or not because the words that flash during this concert just doesn't seem like something they would do i'm gonna type out what i think the words are saying and you let me know what you see <laughs> 